all ready to work. This is not a free lunch. This is not a political gift. This is not a government jamboree. This is not propaganda. It is for those who are ready to work. If you have taken care of five bed, five chicken before, you will know what it means. Okay? And here you are going to be given 1,000. It is labor intensive. You will work. It, there is no shortcut to it. There is no, you don't need to, I don't know how to, what to say, but the summary is that it is for those who are ready to work. It's not free. It is purely a private sector driven initiative that is being supported by the federal government to create jobs, to alleviate poverty, and to give a sense of belonging to our women. So it is purely for those who are ready to work. If you are not ready to work, even right from now, I will ask people to excuse you. You'll find your way and go. Now, this is the structure of the, uh, of the program. After training, every farm is expected to have a farm owner. And this farm owner has to be people that has stable address. You are not expected to be in an FCT today. And by next month, you tell us that, sorry, oh, they don't marry me. I'm relocating to Kogi State. I'm relocating to Edo State. We want people that has stable address. At the end of the training, you are going to provide us with a piece of land where we are coming to build the farm that will take 1,000 bed. It could be um, a big structure. It could be in a cage system where you have 400 under, 300 beds and 300, maximum of 1,000 bed, depending on the size of land that you have. Then we'll build the farm, we'll provide you with the beds, we'll give you the feed, we'll give you the vaccine, and after six weeks, there are off takers that will be going around to harvest the bed from the farm. You do not have the right to sell any of the products. You cannot sell the bed. It is our responsibility to offtake through an organized off-taker market. And then as a farm owner, if you are, your application is successful, as a farm owner, you receive 1,000 bed, you get all the input, and then you earn the sum of 150,000 Naira as your salary. Our salary um, cycle is not four weeks, it's six weeks. Anytime we harvest, you earn that amount of money. Then for the staff, we know that to take care of 1,000 beds is a big job. We don't want you to go and employ people who have no knowledge, has no knowledge about poultry. And that is why we're also training the farm attendant, two people per farm. They too will have the same knowledge you have as a farm owner. They will also be trained so that even when you are not around, they can do justice to the, to the bed. And um, at the end of every harvest cycle, they are expected to earn 50,000 Naira as their um, salary. Now, production cycle per year is eight times. We are going to supply you bed eight times in a year. And um, we are going to run the farm for 24 cycle. That is three years. At the end of that three years, as a farm owner, you are at liberty to say you want to pull out of the program. You, the farm now belongs to you permanently. You can decide to buy your own beds on your own, buy your feed on your own, and run the farm on your own. But if you so wish, you can also remain in the program, and they will still give you the bed, will give you the feed, will still offtake. At this time, since the farm is now your own, we'll be paying you that salary, and we'll also be paying you rent for the farm. Because from after three years, the farm is no longer our property, it becomes your property. So we need to pay you rent for the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is a program when we are called NAM Super 5. The program that we design to create jobs to millions of people in Nigeria to have a food security across to the nation. Yes, we are targeting to, in a mechanization permit, we have a targeting to empower 15 million people in Nigeria. In Fortly, that is a natural bed for wealth where we are inaugurating the, our coordinator today. We have a targeting to empower 250 people across the 774 local government in the, in the country. Mm, the vision is a very big one. The vision is a very big one. Because when you look at what is happening in Nigeria, you find out that the only solution 
to this problem is farming. And the, the initiative wowed me. That's why we went all out. And as a beneficiary, we will use this, this privilege that I call it to touch the grassroots farmers. Those people that don't believe in Nigeria before now believes because of this program. So this is a very good one. Even in our team, you have the disabled, so nobody's left out. And she's a woman, she, she's a coordinator. So we are carrying women along, we are carrying youths along. So this is something that everybody should embrace. It will eradicate poverty. It you empower so many persons. And as a, a, a foundation owner, I, I, I believe that you will get it right with agriculture. It is purely meant for those women who are seated at home. As you can see with the quest of the economy, those that are at home now have sense of belonging in the program and they will probably have where to gain more and to make money at the end of the program. We need every support from every angle, moral support, financial support, and um, uh, we want uh, other uh, uh, companies to equally come and partner with us in order to get to the goal of the program. We know that uh, one of the cardinal points of this program is empowering on empowerment. So by that alone, it's going to help the people, make them self-dependent and they boost the economy as well. By the implementation, there's going to be empowerment. Already we've started mobilizing from the grassroots, from all the area councils. Mobilization has been going on before now, and we're still going to work to ensure that it gets to all the uh, various places where we can reach the especially the, the poor. We are going to do some strike that I shall obey. The extant laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The extant laws of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Why carrying out my responsibilities? Why carrying out my responsibilities? Strict compliance. In strict compliance with the operational guidelines. With the operational guidelines of the National Agricultural Mechanization Cooperative Society. Now, of the National Agricultural Mechanization Cooperative Society. Now, so help me. So help me.